ओके सो वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन अनदर एंटीबायोटिक वीडियो लेक्चर फ्रॉम माइक्रोबायोलॉजी विथ शाक सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरियस इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन फ्रॉम द एंटीबायोटिक चैप्टर ओके सो आई विल गोइंग टू डिवाइड दिस डेफिनेशन पार्ट इन टू टू वीडियोज वायर इन फर्स्ट वीडियो वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एंटीबायोटिक केमोथेरापिटिक एजेंट एंटी माइक्रोबियल एजेंट सिंथेटिक ड्रग्स सेमी सिंथेटिक ड्रग एंड सिलेक्टिव टॉक्सिसिटी along with the chemotherapeutic index then in the next video we will going to discuss about the super infection okay so let's start so the first important definition that is antibiotic what is antibiotic so antibiotic as its name suggests it have the ability to destroy biotic things right so now this antibiotic is synthesized by the microorganism for survival for its own survival because the bacteria uses that antibiotic to destroy other microorganism or to inhibit their metabolism okay now chemotherapeutic agent chemotherapeutic agent or drug is the everything that a medical practitioners prescribe for the treatment of any kind of disease okay is known as chemotherapeutic agent or drug antimicrobial agent antimicrobial agent is any chemical synthetic or natural drug that we are using as a treatment for infection caused by microorganism okay synthetic drug synthetic drug which is especially produced in the laboratory semi synthetic drug semi synthetic drug which is partly made by microbes and partly made by laboratory synthesis example azithromycin cladithromycin now let's discuss about the selective toxicity so there uh, so i want to discuss with you that microorganism not only causes uh, infection in our outer part of the body that means in skin they also causes very very a serious infection in internal part of the body and i want to discuss with you that the sensitivity of sensitivity towards any kind of chemical substance is more higher in the internal organs as compared to our skin because try to think about this that the skin is the exposed part of our body right so it have to face various import various kind of thing right but internal organ is far more conserved right that is why we cannot use any kind of chemical substance that we are using for our skin as a treatment for internal infection for treatment of internal infection a those kind of micro antimicrobial agents are chosen who have a particular property named selective toxicity so what is the meaning of this selective toxicity so this selective toxicity means this antimicrobial agent will have the capability to destroy the microorganism that is causing the infection inside the host but it will not cause any harm to the body or the host that is why the name selective that means it will show its toxicity selectively towards the only microorganism not the host in which it is present okay so for determining the term selective toxicity there is a two important term that you need to know one is toxic dosage level another one is therapeutic dosage level okay now i want to mention you that any drug or any chemical substance whose therapeutic dosage level is higher than the toxic dosage level should not be used or should not be considered as a chemotherapeutic agent or as a drug for the treatment of bacterial infection inside the organism why because remember this toxic dosage level mean is the highest dosage level or which causes host damage okay on the other hand therapeutic dosage level means which successfully causes the curing of the 
organism from that pathogenic microorganism okay so now let's try to think about this if the toxic dosage level become lower than the therapeutic dosage level that means before curing it will also start causing various kind of infection in the body so is it will be preferable no that is why only those kind of drug is preferred whose toxic doses level that means the level at which it will cause damage to the host is much much higher than the therapeutic doses level it is the level where it will cure the disease okay if the maintained level is maintained over a period of time that means you have to maintain that constant level if the level become down regulated then it will not going to help you to get rid of that disease okay that is why it is often suggested to complete the course carefully okay now so we are going to discuss about a relationship between this toxic doses level and the therapeutic doses level okay that will ultimately help us to determine which microorganism which microbial or antimicrobial more specifically saying antimicrobial substance will be more preferable than which one okay so which uh, chemotherapeutic agent is more powerful and less toxic <coughs> sorry for that can be determined with the help of a index called chemotherapeutic index so chemotherapeutic index is nothing but a ratio which tells us that the maximum tolerable dose per kilogram of the body weight divided by minimum dose per kilogram of body weight that will cure the disease okay that means the maximum tolerable dose that will causes the damage to the host and minimum tolerable dose that will cure the disease okay so this is the ratio that this ratio should be higher than one okay so that it can we can consider that we can use this kind of chemotherapeutic agent as a treatment procedure okay that means chemotherapeutic index should be higher than one just try to correlate this because they are telling that maximum tolerable dose per kilogram of the body weight so if our value will be a real number or not real number so, so for the if our value will be greater than one that means what our maximum tolerable dose is higher than the minimum dose required for curing the disease so we can consider those kind of drugs for our treatment that means if we will inject or if we will ingest those kind of drug at a very lower level so it can cure the disease okay so that means suppose let's consider two condition one is there is a chemotherapeutic agent whose chemotherapeutic index is 8 okay and another chemotherapeutic agent whose chemotherapeutic index is 1 so now which will be more useful obviously the first one because here the chemotherapeutic index is 8 that means the ratio between the maximum tolerable dose per kilogram of the body weight and the minimum dose required to cure the disease is 8 right that means there is a wide range between the toxic dosage level and the therapeutic dosage level so you can maintain the therapeutic dosage level for a longer period of time for curing the disease right so here eight chemotherapeutic index containing chemotherapeutic drug will be much more useful than the chemotherapeutic drug with chemotherapeutic index one okay so now let's discuss about which for which kind of chemotherapeutic drug we have to discuss or we have to calculate the chemotherapeutic index very carefully so for those drugs who have arsenic antimony mercury as their components the doses level should be calculated very carefully because remember those kind of arsenic antimony mercury are 
very toxic to human not only that it is very toxic to another animal host and most specifically most importantly the pathogen okay similarly treatment of worm infection treatment of fungal infection because here for treatment of the worm infection the damage that we are willing to cause to the parasite not only damage the parasite but also it will damage us okay similar case can be applicable for fungi because they are eukaryotes okay and our human cells are also eukaryote so if we will use suppose a dna synthesis inhibitor for fungal treatment okay so th there is a chance that 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 this chemi chemotherapeutic agent not only target the fungal dna but it also target ours okay so that is the problem so for those kind of chemotherapeutic drug the calculation of chemotherapeutic index will be very important but in case of bacterial pathogen where we are targeting cell wall because we all know that human cells lack cell wall right so in such circumstances we cannot bother about what will be the chemotherapeutic index because we are targeting the cell wall synthesis let's say for penicillin we will going to discuss about the mechanism of penicillin in a detailed video lecture so if we use penicillin so we don't need to bother about what will be the chemotherapeutic index because chemo our penicillin will going to target the cell wall and human cell lacks it okay so it will only and only target the bacterial pathogen not human but there are some individuals who have allergies to penicillin under such circumstances we also have to keep special attention towards those things also okay so now we have learnt about the selective toxicity this selective toxicity is the special feature of antimicrobial agent what we are using for curing of internal infection caused by microorganism right so selective toxicity for determining the selective toxicity we have to keep some knowledge on the therapeutic dosage level and the toxic dosage level so toxic dosage level is the dosage level that will cause damage to the host and therapeutic dosage level is the dosage level that will cure the disease so that means what the therapeutic dosage level should be lower than the toxic dosage level so that by using small amount of antimicrobial substance we can cure our problem right so for determining the relation of toxic dosage level and therapeutic dosage level we have constructed the chemotherapeutic index concept so chemotherapeutic index is nothing but a ratio which ratio tells us about the maximum tolerable dosage per kilogram of body weight divided by the minimum dosage per kilogram of body weight that will cure the disease okay so the higher will be the chemotherapeutic index from one the greater will be the chemotherapeutic agent it will be okay we will going to also see about a analytical question on the basis of that chemotherapeutic index don't need to you don't need to bother about this so let's remember about this that if your chemotherapeutic agents chemotherapeutic index is greater than one then it will be better okay and the higher it will be greater than one the better it will be okay that means suppose there is a chemotherapeutic agent whose chemotherapeutic index is 12 for example uh, let's say the name of that chemotherapeutic agent is a and you have other chemotherapeutic agent with similar action that can cause the prevention of the treatment prevention of the disease whose name is b have the chemotherapeutic index 24 okay so here b will be more powerful safe and less toxic for the patient so we will use b okay for for drug whose components are antimony mercury or arsenic types we have to take keep special attention on those kind of drugs and we have to calculate the chemotherapeutic index very carefully because remember those kind of components are very toxic for us okay 
treatment of worm infection and treatment of fungal infection because they are eukaryote so what way we will choose to destroy them can also harm our cells too okay and last is bacterial pathogen we don't need to bother about the chemotherapeutic index concept on bacterial pathogen treatment because if you you will use the penicillin penicillin will target cell wall and human cell lacks it so it will not do any kind of problem or it will not cause any kind of problem to human naturally okay though for some patient it will be allergic so that was the concept of chemotherapeutic index antibiotic chemotherapeutic agent or drug or antimicrobial agent synthetic drug semi synthetic drug selective toxicity so now we will going to see a problem on the basis of chemotherapeutic index so now let's focus on the question that there is a two kind of drug a and b okay so for a the chemotherapeutic index is 2 and for b the chemotherapeutic index is 0.5 so which will be which drug would be more acceptable for the therapy so here i will choose the a because i have told you that the greater the chemotherapeutic index from one the better the drug it will be right because remember that ratio is about maximum tolerable dose per kilogram of body weight divided by minimum dose per kilogram of body weight that will cure the disease right so the greater the positive value and the greater the value it will be from one the better the drug it will be so a here will be more applicable than the b okay although b is less than one in this case right so that is the idea of chemotherapeutic index so i hope this video will be helpful to you to understand about the basic concept of chemotherapeutic index and thank you for listening to this class